Okay, so good question. So there's a bunch of different ways that you could make an electronic notebook. And I'm going to show you a few ways. And it really is all going to depend on what your budget is, what your um, resources are, you know, what kind of tools you currently have available to you. Um, so a perfect example is for free in Google Slides and PowerPoint um, and in Canva, actually, you can create a notebook with tabs on it. If you were to Google um, on YouTube, search on YouTube for how to do a digital notebook in Google Slides, you'll get um, a 10 or 15 minute video from a school teacher <laughs> who uses it. And so essentially it's just pasting and then linking. There's tabs along the top or along the side, and then you're linking to it. So that's the freebie option. Now, just like everything else that's free, that's probably the most time consuming option as well. But if that's, if budget is an issue, I'm going to share my screen and pull up I'm going to mute you, Anita, so we don't have background noise. So second option, option two, is OneNote. Most of you probably have Microsoft Office as your tool and Microsoft 365. I would love to hear in the chat box if you currently use OneNote. So again, this would be technically free if, you, if your office has this. And what's interesting, what I have found in a lot of circumstances is a lot of people have it and don't even know it or don't know what it's used for. So what I did, I didn't put the whole trial notebook in here for you, but I put enough of it in to give you an idea how it would work. So literally I create a new notebook and then this is a section. So you, that would be your tab, tab one, section one. That's the reference, right? So you can either copy and paste whatever it is in there, or you can upload a PDF. So in the reference section of the trial notebook, you have underneath that, you know, in the table of contents, you've got the contact list, the travel information, the case summary, and the proof chart. And in your pleadings, discovery, and orders, I just put in sample, like that sample complaint that I used so in here, you would simply do this and click on it. And there's your answer, your counterclaim. And then when you want to add, even though it, sound, it sounds kind of strange because it's saying add a page, but it's technically, if you're making a digital notebook, the page is whatever that item is. So you would add a page. You would add orders or pleadings in here, pending motions. So literally, see how the... The ads are there. Oh, I'm going to mute you again, Anita. Um, so that's another way. So there's free and hard. This one is also free. I'm going to move my chat message over here so I can see if you guys are sending it in. I use it, but I've never seen it used like this. Okay, great, Nicole. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's amazing what Microsoft has available when you start really looking at it. Um, another option, let me pull this up. Oh, I need to share a different screen with you. Another option would be right in Microsoft Word, in that table of contents, you would have the option to link. So in here, I'm just inserting a hyperlink. That's all I did. So at, with every one of these, you could just hyperlink out to whatever it is. So essentially you'd still have an electronic notebook. Now, just like I warn with linking things in that master case book, remember that you have to have the location to it. So you're gonna want it on that computer that you're using. Or if you have a copy that's going to go on a laptop then you're just gonna have to you know, load everything up in that laptop and make sure it's available. The other option is that you're accessing it from some type of either share file, Google Drive, or something like that to be able to access it, but keeping in mind your internet connection. Um, okay, so that's another one, Adobe. And then another one that has, you could, it's not technically used for it, but you could use it for it is TrialPad. 
And so the company that owns TrialPad also owns Transcript Pad and um, Doc Review Pad. So it's all litigation related and it's all using it on your phone or your iPad. And so TrialPad technically is for present presentations in the courtroom. And that's how attorneys, especially on a small budget, they have trial pad on their on their iPad as an app. But inside trial pad, you can also create digital notebooks, just like you were going to be be creating like the presentation for the court and the jury. So that's another one. And then last but not least, which might be limited is your case management software. So I know not everybody's at a big firm with case management software, but one of the things that a lot of people overlook is if you have case management software, I can bet you, you have the ability, just like you're <clears throat> saving and loading all of your um, pleadings and things into the case management software, there's going to be a way to be able to do a, a digital notebook that way too.